We at Onshape have been busy building a new generation of modern CAD. And I think if you've been paying attention, you've seen we've tried to innovate at a very fast pace and have started with a full cloud, unique full cloud architecture that's allowed us to introduce to the CAD world a whole bunch of modern concepts. Things like no installation, running completely in the web browser, running on mobile phones and tablets, having real time collaboration, new generation rethinks of 3D modeling uh, in parametrics, things like configuration, sheet metal, custom features, design and context, all things we've been proud to introduce to you, our users, in the CAD community as we move forward to modern CAD. We've also introduced a series of data management features um, in Onshape, and we're proud of that set of data management features, but today we're announcing some dramatic new extensions to what we do in data management, and specifically, we're announcing formal release management workflows and a new, a new rethinking of how the bomb, the bill of materials, participates in the design system, in the CAD system. I'm going to be proud to show you those. These are the latest in our series of data management improvements that we collectively call Design Data Management 2.0. We're excited about it. I hope you are, too. First, why even build a new way of managing data. Why should we be concerned about it? After all, all users manage data today. If you use CAD, you have to manage data. But whether you manage data, in, in, in old CAD, the old generation of CAD, when we built it years ago, we, of course, stored data in files. That was the only way we knew how to do it. No matter how you manage the files, you have problems. Whether you just manage the files on disk by, by yourself or whether you uh, use a PDM system, either way, you have a lot of problems managing the data. To take a closer look, imagine a team of users trying to work with CAD and manage data. With old CAD, this is what happens. First, you need to install the software. Everyone needs a copy of the CAD software and possibly a PDM client. It needs to be installed. Downloads installed, license codes, of course, incompatible software versions. All of you are familiar with that problem with old generation CAD. And then there's the data. Bigger problem is the data stored in files. Those files need to get copied everywhere. Everyone needs their own copies of the files in order to work on the data. As soon as you have copies, you have troubles. Whether you copy by email, very common, or use a file server, or if you introduce a PDM system, well, that's great, you now have a vault, but copies end up all over the place because you need to constantly take them out. This leads to problems. Where's the latest version? Am I going to overwrite your changes? Are you going to overwrite mine? And worst of all, it stops people from working fast because as soon as you have to check out and lock, you've got to say, well, wait a minute, no one else can work on this right now. We tried moving files and software installs to the cloud, but if you just copy files to and from the cloud, in our opinion, you don't really solve the problem. You just kind of move them around. This diagram looks complicated, but in my opinion, it's a dramatic simplification compared to any real world process that you're going through, which looks much more complicated. We call this the state of design gridlock. Like the gridlock you see here, <laughs> I see some nodding heads out there. You're familiar with this. It's much like the traffic here. You eventually get where you need to go. You just have to spend more time, and it's a lot of stop and go instead of smooth travel. Slows you down, and it's a little frustrating. This design gridlock problem is a huge problem. You're all going through it. Products are getting built, but we think products could get built better. Part of that is giving you the right tools to do it, and that's what we've done at Onshape. We rethought the problem from the core out, not trying to add on another way to push files around. We thought we need to build a new system, and we call it a full cloud architecture. We're the only system in the world that starts with the CAD tool set and the design data and data management being in one place in the cloud, and they're never copied anywhere. There are no copies. It's impossible for different people to be on different versions of the software because we're all using the same master instance of the software. There's no question about where to find the latest data because there's only one place to look, okay? Because of this design, we've been able to show more and more benefit to how teams work together. Real-time collaboration is natural because you're looking at the same master copy of the data. There's no need for locking things and so forth. With old CAD, we always felt that you had a choice. I visit customers, and what customers told me is, we can try and work fast, or we can use the data management system, but we can't do both. It's an either-or proposition. We think with modern CAD, we're showing the world that you can work faster 
and manage your data. And today we're going to show you how you can manage your data even better without compromising the speed that you work with at all. And I want to make it clear, we have no PDM system. The future will not have PDM systems. We don't have an integrated PDM system. We don't have a bundled PDM system. There is no more PDM system. Data management is woven throughout the CAD system as a property of what we're doing, not a separate add-on or bolt-on. I want to cover six key aspects of design data management. The first four are things that we've already delivered to you, our customers, and I'm going to do a quick review, and then I'll show you the, the key new things in five and six here, the new things that we're announcing today. I want to tell you in advance that everything you're going to see here is like everything in Onshape. It happens fully in the cloud. There's no IT overhead. There's no servers to install. There's no files to copy. Sorry, those of you who have spent all this time learning to be CAD administrators, I'm sorry, but there's nothing to do like that anymore. Guess what? You can put that time back into designing great products, which is what I hope you're doing. OK, first it starts with search. Everyone uses search tools, but we believe only we have a comprehensive search tool that covers not just data in the vault, not just data on your disk, but all data in your design world, in process or released. Not just for you, but all the colleagues that you've invited into your project, OK? So we, one search, this is in on shape today, will cover everything. You can look for release data if you like or not. And it's globally across all related users. If I'm working with you and you have just created um, a, little, a new, a new sub-assembly, battery housing or something, and you've just created that as an in-progress design, and it's in our shared workspace, if you created that 30 seconds ago and I go to search, I'm going to see that show up in my search results. I'm not waiting for you to check it in. And what we've seen is that today you have, because data is all over the place, you have this mixed variety of search tools in the old world. Goodbye. Now you have one integrated search tool. It's just like kind of like a Google Drive. No waiting for check-in. And you don't have to worry anymore about which drives you're covering or which vaults or anything like that. Versions in history. This is a big one. Those of you who have used Onshape will know that we have no save button. There's no save. There's no auto save. By the way, auto save is also auto delete because it deletes the good version that you had 10 minutes ago that you're always sorry you can never get back. Well, those days are over. In modern CAD, you can go back to any previous state. You see, in Onshape, we store every single edit operation ever made. And I don't just mean the state of, of a model, I mean every edit. Like here, you see an insert of a shell feature at 3.54 PM on February 27th by Steve Williams. If I like, I can restore the model to that point at any time, forever. I can go back there. So you don't worry about losing work, because you can go back. You also can see what your colleagues were doing. This is very important in a highly collaborative world of real-time collaboration, being able to see exactly who did what when. We say with Onshape, users can be aggressive and be creative. They don't have to worry anymore about, will I be able to go back? Go ahead. You know, <laughs> go, go look at our models we're showing in the demo area here at Develop 3D Live. Go in and have at it. Change whatever you like. We can always go back. If we've, we have versions, we can go right back to them. No problem there. You can also compare different states. Another key thing we've had in data management is the concept of branching. You can take that version history and you can split it into branches so that you can go off in parallel on two, three, four, five examples okay, of different design strategies. You can say, we're going to pursue different ideas in parallel. When you're ready to merge back, you merge back. This is a new concept here in the mechanical design world, but in software design, this is the way everyone works. As those of you who are familiar with software, you know they work that way. By the way, the software industry gave up this whole concept of checking in and locking files that is an old PDM. The software industry gave that up a decade ago. <laughs> you know, but we're, that's still what most people use. We're going to try and change that. In addition to merely branching, you can compare the branches and say, what's different? You see here, the compare slider shows you a way to slide between the red main branch and the blue B1 and see the differences highlight in 3D on your model. You can also merge changes. You say, OK, I like the changes from that branch. Let's merge them into main. Later on, at the end of my session, 
I'm going to show you some customer stories. And if you look carefully, you'll see real live version graphs from some of our customers with very rich branching schemes, because the customers go, go crazy with this and use it for branching and merging. And you'll see it in their actual real product designs in the video later. Sharing, commenting, collaborating. We've completely changed the game on how you share data. No longer do you send a file to anyone. Who would want to do that? Give them a perfect digital copy of your IP. Bad idea. You hit the share button with Onshape. Data never leaves our secure server. You select the precise controls that your colleague will have to edit, whether that's you may choose to give them viewing rights, you may choose to give them editing rights for the moment. Those editing rights can be given without giving them copy permissions or giving them download permissions. Imagine that. You can say, I need you to edit this design. I'm not letting you take a copy or download it. No way. And best of all, you don't have to worry about what software they have which version of CAD they have, do they have your PDM client, can they get your VPN, forget about all that. They don't even need software. You just share the model with them, they click on it, they're in on shape, they're doing their work. Collaboration, as I mentioned, is in real time, so is commenting. If you add a comment to a model, okay, your colleague's gonna see that in real time if they're in the model. They don't close and open it, you don't email it to them, okay? Email, by the way, is is uh, today what postal mail <laughs> was during the email area. It used to be if you want to send something fast, you emailed it. Today, if you have time and you're not in a hurry, you email it. Otherwise, you do something more urgent. You text them, whatever. The world keeps changing. Our tools need to change with it. Oh, yeah, and by the way, revoke access at any time. After I'm done letting you edit it, I revoke your access. You have no more access to it. You don't have a copy of the file. You can't revoke a file that you've sent, can't do that. So change the game on share, common, and collaborate. We think overall we've also built the most secure place in the world for your CAD data. I think I've made it clear that the data never leaves our secure servers. We take security measures at Onshape far beyond what any CAD company could ever do on their own, plus we have massive additional security provided by the AWS security team, which is way beyond what any individual CAD usage company could do. So that's a quick review of some of the existing aspects of our data management. Let's talk about what's new that we're announcing here today. The first thing is something we call simultaneous bill of materials. Now, bill of materials have been around manufacturing and CAD forever, but not part of the design environment. You know, typically your workflow, you design an assembly, you make the assembly, and then the bill of materials shows up on the drawing or a PDM system, or maybe you can put sort of some sort of view of it into an assembly, but not very effectively. We realize that users like to think about bill of materials while they're designing. They want to think about design while they're looking at the bill of materials. So we put them together so you can edit them simultaneously together, fully associatively. We think we've rethought the bill of material as a first class object in the system. Onshape is excited to announce one. simultaneous bill of materials. Building on the foundation of Design Data Management 2.0, Simultaneous Bill of Materials gives you an automatically generated, real-time updating Bill of Materials that is integrated directly within your assembly. In Onshape, the Bill of Materials isn't simply a table in a drawing, but a real object in your assembly that you can interact with and edit in an easy-to-use way. Simply click on the bomb table icon, and the bomb table will fly out. And it's more than just a list of parts or subassemblies. It's an entirely new way to interact with the assembly. You can choose dynamically which properties are displayed by adding or removing columns, meaning you can add columns to your bill of materials for properties that make sense to you. For example, here you can see the part names in the assembly aren't terribly descriptive, and the part numbers aren't any better. But if we add a description column, now we can easily find a part by its description and select it. Notice anything selected in the bill of materials is automatically highlighted in both the graphics and in the instance list of the assembly. For instance, in this example, you can see by selecting the row in the bill of materials with screws that all four screws highlight at once, making it easy to do operations on all four screws at once, like hide. Not only can you add or remove columns and select parts or subassemblies right from the bill of materials, you can also edit the assembly from the bill of materials as well. If I double click in a cell, I can edit any of the properties in the columns that I've added. This is a simple, effective way to edit the properties of your parts and subassemblies without leaving the overall assembly. 
As mentioned earlier, Onshape's simultaneous bill of materials is automatically generated for every assembly and updates in real time, so it's kept in constant sync with the assembly. Things like adding components or reordering parts in the instance list are immediately reflected in the bill of materials. You have the option to view the bill of materials either as flattened or structured, and you can exclude components from the bill of materials by right-clicking. Finally, of course, the bill of materials is easily inserted into the drawing with just a few clicks. This, combined with the recently added associative bomb balloons, means creating drawings of your assemblies is now much easier. Onshape's simultaneous bill of materials gives you a new, unique way to interact with and edit your assemblies, giving you a more modern approach to creating and managing a bill of materials. So that's our simultaneous bill of material capability. And users who have used this so far find it to be a very, very uh, productive way to work with thinking about assembly structure while they're building the geometry, editing metadata while they're building the geometry, um, and seeing the highlighting cross between the bomb and the assembly also very useful. Now let's talk about release management and workflow. These are topics you typically hear about associated with the highest of high-end PDM systems. We've brought the, the, the vision of that kind of capability, but we brought it in a way that doesn't require any admin, it doesn't require any interruption to your workflow. It's available to everyone right in the browser, in Onshape. It's formal release control for assemblies, drawings, parts, and yes, we can release a single configuration of a part. We get asked about that a lot. I don't believe any other system can do that. For us, we're able to do that because we're not releasing files, we're releasing objects in, the, in our database. We have customizable workflows with notifications and many other features around release management. And once again, I have a video demonstration for you. Onchip is excited to announce formal release management and approval workflows. Building on the foundation of Design Data Management 2.0, formal release management and approval workflows give your company a complete product release process that is integrated directly within Onshape. So how does it work? Let's take a look. You'll find the details for release management under your company's account settings as an admin or owner. To turn on release management, simply click Onshape Default Workflows. There are two workflows for your product release process with release management. The release workflow and a workflow for obsoleting designs. You can then specify a revision scheme, where you can choose a simple 1-2-3 revision scheme method or an ABC method skipping I, O, Q, S, X, and Z. Also available in release management is automated sequential part number generation. With a tool to build your part numbering scheme graphically, it's easy to create something that matches your company's standard. Finally, as an admin or owner of a company, you can specify various access options, release conditions, as well as various release dialog options. All it takes is a few minutes to set these options and you are ready to go. No complicated client or server installations and nothing to maintain. And you can even add more users on the fly in just a few minutes. Releasing a design is simple. To create a release candidate, simply right click on whatever it is that you want to release. You can create a release candidate that includes configurations, parts, assemblies, drawings, imported files, or any combination of these things. So for instance, if you right click a part in a part studio, choose release, this will create a release candidate for just that one part. If you want to add more to the release candidate, simply click the plus icon and add more. You can even select an individual configuration of a part and release that either independently or as part of a larger release candidate. This is something that old PDM systems simply cannot do because these systems manage data at the file level. In Onshape, you can even release an entire assembly by simply right-clicking the tab. When creating a release candidate, there are a few things to keep in mind. You can assign part numbers either manually or via the automated part number generation options mentioned earlier. Part numbers must be unique, so you'll not be able to type in a part number that has already been used. You can also view the state, edit any revision information, and search through your release candidate. But most importantly, at the bottom, you can type in a release name and list any approvers. The approvers listed are responsible for approving the release candidate. You can require all approvers to approve before a design can be released or just one of the approvers. You can also add release notes and an observer that will be notified. After the release candidate is created, click submit and the necessary people are notified both via email 
and with a notification right inside of OnChain. As the final approver, I can review the release and decide whether to release it or reject the release candidate. You can see that the state has now moved to pending in our workflow. As the final approver, if I click release, the release candidate is accepted, revisions will increment, and everything moves to the next state in the workflow, the released state. With the design now released, we can see the impact throughout OnChain. In versions and history, released designs will show as a solid triangle, whereas pending and rejected designs will show as a hollow triangle. The same goes for the insert dialog. When inserting, you will see the same solid and hollow triangles, making it easy to find and insert a design at the state that you're looking for. The insert dialog also has a new filter for released designs, which will show you only what has been released, meaning you won't mistakenly insert something before it's ready. You can also make a design obsolete by simply right-clicking. Obsolete designs cannot be inserted into the assembly or drawing, so you can't mistakenly insert something that has been made obsolete. With Onshape's formal release management and approval workflows, your company now has a complete release management process built right into Onshape. So there's no need for a separate PDM environment, you'll never be blocked by files that need to be checked in or out, and there's absolutely zero IT required to set up and maintain release management in Onshape. So that's um, formal release management workflows, and you see that the team has worked hard to integrate it into the system with the power that you'd associate with high-end data management capability, but you notice how subtle it is woven into the user interface. And our team, I want to thank our team. We have some people on our team who have worked on hundreds of PDM implementations in the old world who have seen customers struggle with these things. And our team worked hard to try and draw on those experiences to give people a solution that gives them, like I said earlier, the speed of working super fast without blocking. There's no locking, there's no checkout, there's no blocking. During that whole release process, you can work on those same assemblies. You can start working on future versions. That's no problem, that all happens. And again, not, not a lot of UI distraction, very subtly blended in, woven throughout the system. So um, a new standard for design data management. And, but wait, there's more, because one of the things about Onshape is everything runs on mobile, right? And so I do get asked, can I do my release management and approvals on mobile devices? And the answer is yes. We're also proud to tell you that, like everything in Onshape, you do it on a mobile device with a native app for iOS, iPhone, Android, Android tablets. And here's, here's an image of considering to release or reject a release package on your mobile device. We think that's a great use case for mobile phones and tablets. So that's, that's our vision of Design Data Management 2.0 and the latest chapter in how we're building out modern CAD. I wanted to spend a few minutes telling you about Onshape in general. Oh, and remember, of course, no PDM. We say goodbye to PDM and goodbye to all the old PDM hassles, okay? You'll never again be dealing with this stuff, okay? Servers, clients, upgrades, forget about it. Um, by the way, we found in our journeys that often it's the best engineer, the one who has the most to add to the product team, who's wasting their time on these chores. Has that happened in your company? That's gone. Okay, let's talk about um, the company in general. A few minutes. Thanks to you, we believe we're leading the way in modern CAD. We now have thousands of companies who have purchased Onshape. Almost three quarters of them identify Onshape as their primary CAD system for design work. Plus, we have tens of thousands of users in education and robotics teams, and I'm not including that. We have three million usage hours and counting on our full cloud CAD platform. One of eight sessions happen on mobile devices. One of eight times someone uses Onshape, it's on a mobile phone or tablet. And so that's a very high number for a, a type of app that didn't exist before. And finally, something new today, we recently been rated number one in CAD customer satisfaction. If you look on g2crowd.com, hundreds of reviews, we're now the highest customer satisfaction in the CAD industry. I wanna say a big thank you to our users. I met many of our users and customers here, and thank you for that. Speaking of users and, um, and customers, I'll show you in a moment, but first, I also want to say we're the fastest moving CAD system in the industry. 
we had updates and unprecedented release, uh, uh, unprecedented rate of release about every three weeks, um, 16 releases last year. But the greatest success we've had is to see our customers use Onshape to build great products. And to, to bring you into their world, I have um, five customers to give you a little snippet of what they're doing with Onshape, what they're building, and how they feel about it. Old CAD means that engineers are system administrators and software administrators and hardware administrators. New CAD means engineers can do what they love, design innovative products. It's not acceptable with this company to not move forward. If you don't like change, you're not gonna be happy here. When something better comes along, we're gonna try it. Old CAD is limited by old technology. Expensive software running on expensive hardware. You're spending your time trying to fix the software rather than fixing your design. Everything is moving to the cloud. And for CAD to not do that just doesn't make any sense. The more you look at it, the more you realize, do I keep going through this pain or do I at least try something new? So a couple years ago, we stumbled upon Onshape in a, in a block. It was met with some skepticism. I myself was skeptical in the beginning. A buddy of mine pulled it up on his phone. I thought he had like a viewer up to tell me, no, this is the actual model. Look, you, you can edit. Finding out that we could use simpler computers and just have the CAD run in an internet browser, that's what really intrigued me at first. Everyone was kind of thinking the same thing. If this can work, we need to do it. How we chose to do it was to take one guy, have him go complete on shape, and see what he thinks after just living in the world of on shape for a few months. I was the guinea pig and got to just take a first look at it and see what would be beneficial for our company. It didn't take very long before we were seeing, wow, this tool is really becoming useful. And after three months, he didn't want to go back. The very first time we logged in while driving back from a potential customer visit and designed the first part that we ever did on the phone. And that was just astonishing. That's, that's what sold us. The fact that we can collaborate inside a single document on multiple facets of the design at once. Just because Onshape's a web-based application, don't think that it's not a fully capable CAD package. A lot of times in other systems, you have to wait for them to finish. Whereas if you're just working on a portion of it in Onshape, you could be working on those in parallel and reducing some of the downtime. It is incredible the degree to which you're able to compress the time scale of bringing innovations to the market. To share the ideas and keep those ideas moving, that's, that's the glory of Onshape. The complexity of designing a snowmobile and really any sort of large project is integrating things properly together. There are over 1,500 unique parts and over 3,000 repeated parts. So it is a very complex product. Once we started looking under the hood, that was, was what really you know, made us think, okay, we got something that we can really work with here. It allows us to save thousands of dollars per user per year, and that's resources we can put straight back into development. Switching CAD platforms is not comfortable. Onshape made it easy. We took that leap, went full on board with Onshape, and we haven't looked back. We wanted to get better. We wanted to get faster. We wanted to be more efficient. What I say to my peers is, go give it a shot. What really drives me as an engineer is I like to create things and come up with new solutions to different problems. It's a tool that works, makes us competitive, makes us more creative, moves us forward. Nonshape is really allowing us to get back to being what it is that we we're passionate about, being engineers. So in, in closing, I'd like to say, I hope you're as excited as we are about what we're able to show the world modern CAD can be. We've been doing it chapter by chapter, showing you progressively more of the power that our rethinking of CAD offers. We're excited by this latest chapter with release management workflow, simultaneous bombs. Stay tuned because there's more chapters to come. With that, let me just say, a big thank you to our many customers who are here. I've, I've had some fantastic meetings with, with customers uh, today. To our partners, we have many application partners who are, who are here at Develop3D Live, 
And finally, a big shout out to Al and Martin and the whole Develop 3D Live team for just running a first class event that we all get a lot out of. Thank you.